Everyone wants a stream overlay. An overlay is literally one thing about live streaming that everyone thinks they need. And then they go ahead and buy some bulky cluttered thing and call it mission accomplished. For a while at least. So here's the thing about overlays you're buying. Some of them are actually pretty good. Looks nice, right? But what if you want to shake it up a bit? Buy a new one? Spoiler alert, it becomes expensive. So. Why not just make your own? It's really not that hard once you get to know some designing principles. And one rule is, don't overdo it. Stop making your streams cluttered with images or webms. People are not staying on your stream for your overlay. Unless you really took it to the next level when it comes to live interactions. But those overlays you buy don't do that anyway. An overlay is here to represent your branding and nothing more. All right, that being said, today, we're going to make an overlay just like this one. And here you thought I was clickbaiting you, right? If you don't like this overlay in particular, then you still want to watch the video, since I'm also showing some really awesome tricks in general. And without any further ado, let's start. So the first thing we need is an image manipulation program. Since this tutorial is supposed to be 100% free, we're going to use GIMP. So just head over to the website and download the latest version. After installing and opening it for the first time, you should be greeted with a screen like this. Don't worry, I'm going to explain everything we need. All right, so let's start by going to File and hit on New. We want to create a new image with a width of 1920 and a height with 1080 pixels. Just hit OK. And then you're greeted with our canvas. Since we want our overlay to be transparent, we then want to go to Layer, Transparency and add an alpha channel. Once we did that, you can just hit delete and we have a transparent background. Now we want to create our face cam. So let's go to layer, new layer and call this one face cam. In order to draw our webcam, we want to click the selection tool in the left up corner and draw a rectangle. Now down in the left bottom, you see the current width and height of your rectangle. So let's just make sure that our webcam is 1408 times 792 and let's just make this black by drag and dropping the color onto this. The next thing we want to do is we want to put the face cam where it's actually supposed to be in the scene. So let's just draw a 40 pixel square, make sure that it says 40 times 40. And then we want to select the move tool and drag our webcam so that the edges touch. Once we've done that, we want to add a chat. So let's just go to layer, new layer, and let's call this chat. Now, since we want our chat to be the same height as our face cam, let's just draw a rectangle right at the corner. Make sure you get the edge right. Let's just drag it down and just up here. And let's choose a different color for our chat. I'm just choosing gray. Now, once we've done that, you can use the arrow keys on your keyboard to move the chat to the right. And we want to make sure that the distance between the face cam and the chat is 40 pixels as well. After we've done that, we want to come to this side of the screen and we want to make a margin of 40 pixels here as well. And let's just delete all of this. Okay, so this looks good. We have a margin now of 40 pixels from each side of the screen. Personally, I like to make my chat a bit transparent. So I'm just going to the right where you, it says opacity and turn it down a bit until it says 80. This looks good so far. Now we want to add some borders to our chat and our face cam. So let's just right click our face cam, go to alpha to selection. Then we want to head up to select, grow, and we want to grow our selection by 10 pixels. Once we did that, as you can see, our face cam has been 10 pixels extended. So we want to make this our new border layer. So let's go to layer, new layer, and let's call this border face cam. Once we did that, we have a new border face cam and let's just make this white by drag and dropping the white color onto this. Now, there are some round corners and I don't want these round corners. So let's just select this again and make this white. Drag our border face cam underneath our face cam and we already have a border. But I don't like that the border is touching the webcam. It just doesn't look modern enough to me. So what I want to do now is right click on the border face cam, alpha to selection, go to select, and shrink it down by five pixels and hit delete. So now we have a bit of a space between the face cam and the border. And I personally think that this makes the whole image look a lot better. So once we did that, we are going to do the same for our chat. So select the chat layer, right click off the selection, select row 10 pixels, make it white, get rid of these round corners. Then 
alpha to selection, shrink, five pixels, hit delete. So after we did that, we have two options. We can either hide our face cam so that it's invisible, or we could put there some temporary text. For example, if your webcam is not working, that your viewers get to see something like webcam is not working. But that's entirely up to you. Personally, I'm just going to hide the face cam since I don't need it in my overlay. So once we are done with our overlay, we want to hit file, export, and let's call this our little overlay. What we also want to do now is we want to hide everything except our chat. We want to right click our chat, alpha to selection, and let's make this completely white and change the opacity back to 100%. Let's export this again. And we're going to call this chat mask. This is going to be important later on. So now that we're done with our overlay, let's head over to OBS and actually add it in. So once we're inside the OBS, we want to first add our background. That could either be a background image or a WebM file you have on your PC. So in my case, this is an image. So I'm going to add an image. I'm calling this background and I'm going to select this wallpaper since I like the color scheme. The next thing we want to import is our overlay. So let's just go to add image. Let's call this overlay and import this. The next step is to add our face cam. So let's just go to add, add a video capture device and select your webcam. Now, since I'm currently recording with another instance of OBS, my camera doesn't work unfortunately, so I'm just going to substitute with an image, but make sure that you're going to select your webcam here. So now that we've imported our webcam, we want to right click it, go to transform and edit transform. Now at size, we want to add the values 1408 and 792, as well as 40 times 40. So now it fits perfectly inside here. All right, now this looks still kind of boring. So let's do something about that. If you've watched my latest video, then you already know what OBS plugins can contribute to a stream if used right. So if you haven't seen it yet, I'm leaving a link in the video description below. The two plugins we're going to use today is the StreamFX and Spectralizer plugin. So go ahead, install them, and let's move on. So inside our OBS, we now want to right click our background, go to filters and add a blur effect filter. Let's call this chat blur. Then we want to select our type. Let's choose dual filtering since it's better for performance. And then you can choose whatever you want on this slider. So personally, I think that five is a really good blur effect. And now I want to apply a mask. Instead of the region, we're going to choose image. And then you want to select your chat mask we've exported earlier. So after we've imported the picture, you see that the background of our chat is going to be blurred while the rest of the background is not. Personally, I think that the blur on the chat just looks great and it really makes the chat stand out. I want to blur my background a bit as well. So I'm just going to add another blur effect and I'm going to blur it with dual filtering but only a tiny bit and we're going to move this up a bit and there we go now our background is blurred and the chat is even more blurred so now we want to add our spectralizer just right click sources go to add spectralizer it's an audio source i want to choose desktop audio since that is my audio source and i'm already playing music in the background so that we can see something now let's choose a different filter I'm going to choose the monster cat filter since i just think it works better let's choose a bar width of 20 pixels, a bar spacing of 10 pixels, and a detail of 12 bins. So once we did that, we right click our spectralizer, go to transform, edit transform, and we want to set the height 218 pixels. So once we did that, we can just drag our little spectralizer to the bottom of our screen, right click, go to transform, and hit center horizontally. I don't think that this looks quite good yet. So we're just going to edit this a bit further. Let's maybe increase our bar width. Maybe let's do it to something like 60. Then we're going to center it again. This looks far better than before, in my opinion. All right, the overlay now looks far better than it did before. But I wonder, and you do probably too, what is the point of a spectralizer if viewer does not know what they're currently listening to? If viewer does not know what they are currently listening to, there's a stream overlay provider called Pixel Chat, which has exactly the widget we need. So go on and register a new account. By the way, it doesn't matter on which platform you stream, just log in with one of the provided options. So let's then move over to overlays, create new overlay and choose now play. Go to edit and then you want to scroll all the way down and then you need to enter a last.fm username. So for this to work, you also need to create a last.fm user account. So if you don't know how to do this, there's a tutorial linked right underneath the last.fm username. I already have a last.fm username, so I'm just going to put mine add in and once i did that i'm going to refresh 
the page. There we go. It shows what I'm currently listening to. So I want to stay this open at all time. I want a small theme. I don't want corner roundings. And there we go. If we now hit refresh again, our little overlay looks like this. So let's head back out to our overlays. We then want to hit copy link, go to our OBS, right click, add a browser source. Let's call this now playing and let's just paste the link in here. So once we did that, as you can see, we have our little extension right here. Now it's a bit big, so I'm just going to make it a tiny bit smaller. And also what I want to do is I want to line it up with my webcam. Let's just do that. That looks good. I'm using the arrow keys to navigate it right down. That looks centered and I'm just going to put it in five pixels. All right, this looks good so far. Okay, final part. Let's add some latest followers, donations, etc. You can do this with any stream overlay service you want. Personally, I like using stream elements, so that's what we're going with. So just go to your stream elements, create a new 1080p overlay, go to labels, and add some latest subscriber, latest tip labels, whatever you want. And after that, it should look something like this. Once you have finished this, then you want to go to copy overlay URL, go back to your OBS, hit add, browser, let's call this SE overlay. We're going to paste our link in here. And also since it's a 1920 by 1080p canvas, we also want to add that values in here. And there we go. This is our final result. As you can see, creating an overlay is really not that hard. If I could be, well, of, of service, then please leave a like and subscribe to the channel. It really helps a lot. I'm also live every week on my streaming channel, youtube.com slash enrollofficial. So if you have any questions, make sure to ask me. And all that's left to say now is, good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, wherever you are. I'll see you around.